great. 12 minutes past 11 here in the Dream Studios. Saying it as it is. Yeah, it's going to be all right, Dave. It's going to be all right. Why? Because he, he lives. lives. <laughs> That's great, man. It's cool. Yeah. Now then, tell me a little bit, Dave, because we're talking about personal experiences. We're talking about music. Right, I want to talk to, to Adam. I mean, he was, he was kind of being a bit shy before about himself and what he's up to and everything like that. So getting back to you, though, Dave, <clears throat> you're an ordained minister. Yeah. Now, I know a few ordained ministers, and you don't look like uh, a few other guys I know, I'll tell you. How did all that come about? Well, I've been in ministry for 13 years now, full-time ministry. In 1988, 1988 I started. So, uh, yeah, no, I just, just being yourself. You don't have to uh, try and play the political game. Don't dress like the political game. Just be yourself. And there is sort of some sort of ways in which people think that if you dress a certain way, act a certain way in the sense of... Uh, responsibility in the sense of life of the local church you have to wear certain clothes and so on I just feel just be yourself and, and let Jesus shine through and people relate to you just out of that yeah because often as well there's a misconception that uh, you know being a Christian has something to do with a certain denomination yeah or a certain you know in-depth doctrine or this or that or whatever and, and often those are just seen as excuses but often those are serious misunderstandings yeah. But a personal relationship with Jesus Christ... It's not about religion. Or denominations or nothing. No, hey? no. I believe one day all our colours are going to bleed into one. At the moment we're fran disfranchised by our, you know, little petty doctrines, uh, dogmas, but, but they're not the absolutes and essentials of the gospel. Mm. If we want to win this nation to Christ, I really thoroughly believe that all our colours will bleed into mm. one. On, based on the absolutes and essentials of the gospel and that is faith in Christ through the blood of Jesus Christ you are saved and belief in him and those sorts of uh, those sorts of very strong absolutes and essentials and I think if there's anyone out there tonight and you're worried about uh, religions and you're worried about what church should I, should I go to it, I tell you what look it's not about religion uh, it's nothing to do with religion. It's not about a church. I mean, you you might have a problem where you say, I don't want to go to that church anymore because, you know, there's a bad person in there and he, you know, ripped me off or something. Well, you don't stop going to McDonald's because you get a bad bunch of chips. You know, it's like you don't stop going to try and meet with God because there's some bad church down the road. You find some place where you can really connect with the living God. Mm -hmm. And uh, if that's the case... Well, then you found what you're looking for. I'm sorry, Bono. <laughs> he's found religion, and he sings that song, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I mean, you see right now as we speak, Ireland, uh, you know, the Protestants fighting the Catholics. The Most of the world will just cringe, wondering if that's religion. I don't want nothing to do with it. Mm. But it's not about that. It's about knowing Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, and he's, he's the peace giver, isn't he? He doesn't offer you a way like every other religion will offer you a way. Mm. He offers, he, he said, I am the way. That's why you've got to have him in the inside. He doesn't offer you truth. Every other religion will say, here's truth, here's a bit of truth. Here's a bit of, he said, I am truth. That's why you've got to invite Christ inside. He doesn't offer you, you know, the way, the truth, the life. He doesn't offer you those things. He said, I am those things. So that's why Jesus. And the other reason why Jesus and not Buddha, why Jesus and not some other religion. A lot of my friends say to me, why your religion? Why Jesus? Well, I, I turned around and said, look, friend, Name me one other religious leader, Charles Taze Russell, Joseph Smith, Siddhu Gautama, 5th century BC, they call him Buddha. Name me one of those other guys who actually died for your crimes against God, for your sins, your lying, your backbiting, your gossiping. Who shed his blood for you? Not one of them, but Jesus did, because he loved you so much. And he doesn't want you to go to lost hellish eternity. So that's why Jesus. And... Uh, the other reason is because I can take you to the grave of Buddha. I can take you to the grave of Charles Tay Smith. Joseph. Yeah, I can take you to all their, their graves, but I can't take you to the grave of Jesus because he's living. Mm. And that's why I believe Jesus <laughs> is the way, truth, and the life. 